But yeah. for for I'm excited about forty, but for entirely different reasons than I thought I'd be excited about forty. Um, I thought it would be about. I don't know what I thought it would be about. Never mind. Hello, Incredible One. I am Darnielle A. Jervy, and I'm so excited to welcome you to Incredible Factor TV. If you ask me, this is the place you must be to learn how to grow your business, period. Now, typically, we take questions from our community every week on Incredible Factor TV, but it's November, and it's my birthday. So this month, I'm talking to you about what I want to talk to you about, except for this week. This week, Blake has an amazing question. He just, it's not even a five week month and he's still getting his two cents. And, but the question was so good that I thought it would make an awesome episode. So Blake. Question is, since it's your birthday month, what is the cost of ambition? Mm. Wow. The cost of ambition. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> And I knew the crazy thing is I knew the question was coming, but it's still kind of taking me off. The cost of ambition. Well, first, let me say this. Um, ambition is not a dirty word. It's a, that's actually a great book from a friend of mine, Deborah Condren. Ambition is not a dirty word. As a woman who is ambitious and who has experienced hate, who has been celebrated for her ambition, um, I will tell you that the cost is that you're often misunderstood. People don't get it. They don't get you. They make assumptions and they perceive things to be true about you that aren't even really true. Um, I think being ambitious can be lonely. You don't have a lot of friends when you're ambitious. I don't have a lot of friends. I mean, I know a lot of people, um, but I don't have a lot of friends, a lot of people who hold me down, who would ride or die for me. And part of it is by choice. Um, and then and part of it is by the, just the natural elimination process of being ambitious. And you've heard me say this before, but I think it's especially true when you're ambitious. Um, you show up in a way that for most people, it creates a problem for them because they are not comfortable with who you are and how you show up and, and the mirror that you present the mirror image that you present for them. And so ambition can be a very lonely place. I think you have to sacrifice, you have the potential to sacrifice a lot when you're ambitious. I remember it was probably about three or four years ago, I was somewhere talking to some man um, and it was like business related. And he says to me, it's gonna be hard for you to find a man. And I was like, where did that come from? He's like, no, you're, you're beautiful, you're articulate, you're poised, you, you even smell good. But because you're so, he did really say that, but because you're so ambitious and you're about your business, most men are gonna have a problem with that. And I remember my retort back to him was says, well, I don't even need most men, I'm just looking for one. One who sees me as an asset and as a gift and who is literally like, thank you God for blessing me with this woman. But that's what he said. And so, you know, when I think about this question, Blake, I think ambition, it, it's, it, you'll be, you'll have to sacrifice stuff. Um, and that person, more personal sacrifice than professional sacrifice. Um, I know at one point in time, and I've talked about this before as well, um, I felt like a one trick pony. Like all I was, was a businesswoman, And I didn't really have a lot of things going on in my life. And I think that there are people who would argue that that was due to my, the level of ambition um, that I exist. But I wanna encourage every ambitious woman out there to remember that ambition is not a dirty word. It is not a, a sentence, which means that you'll have to become a nun and you'll live with five cats. You can have it all. You can be ambitious and have love and have everything that you want to have, but you're gonna need to be willing to do the work in order to be able to make that happen. And you're gonna have to allow time to pass and, and really try the spirits of the people that you come into contact with to make sure that they are with you for the right reasons and they see your ambition as a complete talent and blessing and strength and not as a hindrance or something that they will eventually grow to hate. And that's gonna take time. And I would just also add, whatever you do, allow God to be a part of it. 
he's the author of everything anyway. And if you just invite him in, the way that he would blossom that situation would be so much more amazing than you could ever do it on your own. So what's the cost of ambition? Now I want to hear from you. What is the cost of ambition? What have you given up for ambition? What have you lost because of ambition? What have you gained? Because I don't think the cost of ambition has to be all negative. I think that there are positives that come along with it. Like if you have a smaller circle, but you have the right circle, that's a good thing, right? Who needs groupie lines of people just hanging around, hanging on your coattails, looking for a handout? Not I, said the cat. Anyway, <laughs> I can't wait to hear from you when you join us for the after party that goes down on our blog immediately following the episode. And if you enjoyed this episode, this crazy me ranting about ambition, do me a favor and subscribe. You can do it right now by hitting the subscribe key, then go ahead and use social media to share with your friends, fans, and followers. This has been Darnielle A. Jervy from Incredible Factor TV saying be better, be stronger, and more than anything, be incredible. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Take care.